Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today is the first ride after a, a we came back from Utah. It was a spectacular adventure. If you haven't watched my videos yet, I really invite you to have a look at them. I have each day broken down and in the description I have the route that we took uh, going down to Utah and back from uh, Moab. It has been a couple of weeks since I was on a bike uh, because uh, when I was in Utah my front of the bike and the subframe got pretty messed up. So I had to take it all apart and fix that up. Otherwise everything here was uh, moving and shaking. Thanks to my uh, friend Robert for stopping up by. Uh, he has a welder and uh, we were able to weld it up. Uh, many Africa twins encountered that problem. I did have the camo blaze but with the amount of roading I guess that we are doing the brace got shot so I think from now on it's time to give up that hardcore off-roading with that big bike because uh, it is too much for that bike uh, people are pushing those bikes to the limits and uh, shit hits the fun and they break down uh, I want to keep that bike as long as I can I want to enjoy it and at the same time I still can do light off-road and have some fun but this bike is definitely not designed to go on trails such as uh, in Moab area um, we did have a blast uh, believe it or not uh, we we had a blast out there it is fun to ride but I really recommend a smaller bike uh, either enduro bike or something like three Honda 350 CRF 350 450 in that range those are perfect bikes uh, to take it on those uh, hard trails filled with rocks and uh, really difficult sections mind you though this time uh, I didn't drop my bike even once but the vibration and the beating that the motorcycle is getting on those trail is uh, on those trails it's uh, quite a lot and uh, I'm not the only one uh, my friend Christian with uh, his KTM he had a bigger problem because uh, he cracked the rim uh, he made it uh, 40 miles on a flat tire from uh, chicken corners which is uh, quite uh, amazing hats down for him but I was able to put in the tube in his wheel uh, on a campsite because there was nobody in Moab that could even uh, touch or repair that cast uh, aluminum wheel so with the tube on 19 inch uh, wheel from 21 e and 21 inch tube he made it all the way from Moab uh, to Calgary Alberta nothing happened thank god uh, the rim was cracked and uh, pretty chewed up on the side but uh, he made it without any issues surprisingly i'm quite amazed so today is the first day as i mentioned heading out after our moab adventure and uh, i am heading uh, to viperus just uh, a little bit northwest of cochrane I'm going to check out some places uh, where I can shoot my rifle uh, because last time when I went camping with the family uh, in McLean Creek I found a location but unfortunately uh, it was uh, too many hills and uh, what I want to do I want to sight those rifles I want to learn how to shoot when fall comes in November as I mentioned I want to go uh, hunting for deer or elk uh, that's the goal for this uh, fall today I want to go on a bike first before dragging my truck uh, to the crown land to see where is the good spot mark it on the GPS and uh, and then uh, maybe next week I'll, I'll go and do that so I'm just uh, on Crouch Isle trail here in Calgary 
and uh, I am about uh, 50 kilometers east of uh, Vipers village so not too far before I get into Crownland so going back into that subframe that holds the whole front on Africa Twin it is a pain in the rear end to take everything apart it took me only a couple hours to take it all apart but it took me probably triple the time to put it back together uh, to make it uh, fit properly and adjust everything but what's beautiful right now that the bike actually feels like it's new it's uh, quite amazing how sturdy it is I, I was realizing that it's shaking for quite some time already probably last year's BDR did the end of it that it was cracked all over including the camel brace uh, snapped right on the bottom in there so I had it welded in uh, Elk City Idaho but pretty much uh, on the first route in Moab it cracked again because there was nothing that was actually supporting the whole fairings and the whole front headlight everything there was nothing that was supporting it at all basically it was cracked in half uh, yeah it was quite bad so me and my my friend Robert we put a lot of reinforcement and braces onto that we welded on double plates to make it all stronger uh, because that uh, support was cracked in multiple spots after discussing this with the guys on uh, Facebook groups and uh, even uh, at the end uh, making my own conclusion it would be better actually to fix the old one and make it much stronger than buying a new one and wait for the same thing to happen in a short amount of time so I think if, uh, if we did a good job that should be way stronger than a factory subframe that came on Africa Twin because it's uh, I put a metal plates and it's uh, it's uh, nicely welded all together I repainted the whole thing at the end so it came out actually quite good and everything at the end worked out and fitted on the bike properly After I came back from Moab and the uh, last two days on the way back we had uh, lots of rain here in Calgary it was pouring pretty much every day and it was very miserable weather so that's uh, actually a good thing that I was able to use that time and uh, work on my bike I took everything apart I greased it up I cleaned it up uh, from that red sand that was uh, the bike was covered with or red soil and water crossings that we did on Onion Creek I looped it up greased it up with the axles uh, so I did quite a bit of work the one thing I'm gonna have to do is still uh, sometime this year maybe closer to the end of the season or after the season ends I already have at home I'm gonna have to put in the new sprockets and chain um, the bike is uh, almost uh, it's got it uh, needs another 10 kilometers and I'm gonna have a 60,000 kilometers on it so that is my second chain currently right now and uh, I will be putting a third chain on I already purchased all the parts again I use the OEM sprockets and DID chain uh, for the reason I don't like cheap chains I'd rather spend the extra money have a good quality chain this way I'm getting between 25 and 30 thousand uh, kilometers out of the chain I'm surprised that uh, there is a uh, so much traffic here today well, I shouldn't call traffic but there's quite a few cars and uh, today the weather is just perfect 17 degrees and uh, it is right now 10 30 I gotta set up my clock <laughs> after I took it all apart looks like the time uh, since was disassembled didn't update 
so I have to change the time on a dashboard or instrument cluster uh, so today is a 17 degrees perfect day for a ride very nice visibility you can see the mountains uh, yeah I know it's gonna be kind of s small hard to see on the camera but they're stretching right there for those of you that are not from Alberta uh, and anybody that's from here is gonna probably laugh yeah we know where the hell the mountains are <laughs> I know that a lot of people that are watching my channel are from different parts of the world mostly from US UK Australia uh, Germany Italy Spain because uh, I went through the analytics and I, uh, I was able to see where people are watching my channel from now another thing that I want to bring up uh, my channel a couple weeks ago passed 2,000 subscribers so right now I'm at 235 I thank you thank you much thank you guys uh, a lot for being with me on my YouTube journey it is a slow growing channel I don't put that much content because uh, I do have a full-time job maybe one day it's gonna take off I don't know definitely it's not an Ichibu channel but uh, I thank you guys anyway uh, for watching my content and uh, uh, for being engaged sometimes in the comments and likes uh, I wish to see honestly I want to see I would like to see more of those uh, yeah if you're watching video and you like it uh, don't be shy hit that like button uh, even on this one it's more of a vlog it's not major trip or nothing it's just a short one hour ride or maybe one and a half hour ride uh, to the mountains to the uh, crown land in Canada here Alberta but uh, if you're watching those videos and you you like them stick a comment below and if you didn't subscribe yet make sure to hit that subscribe and uh, click the notification bell this way you get you stay current with my updates and rides uh, that are posting once a week and I started doing some shorts not too much I'm not fan of the shorts but uh, the YouTube algorithm uh, actually pushes the content through with the shorts believe it or not I, I know many of you maybe don't like those shorts either but this is only to gain some traction on the platform because I do notice if I start doing the shorts uh, I actually do gain subscribers they don't bring much revenue uh, comparing to the normal video even my videos are still not getting much of a revenue but at least uh, they get me a little bit more than uh, actual short so if you guys are thinking uh, there's a lot of money to be made on YouTube as a beginner creator I've been doing this now for like three or four years maybe even more and uh, my revenue is between $38 and uh, $56 per month so by the time you pay for all the copyrights uh, free music like epidemic sound and uh, and the time that you put into it it's really not much it's uh, it's basically more of a hobby and sharing the rights with the world than at this point calling myself a youtuber uh, yeah I am a small content creator but maybe who knows maybe one day it will take off uh, to the point that it will actually bring uh, more significant amounts into the revenue if you see the ads in uh, my short films if you watch them I get paid more money this way if you skip them uh, I get paid much less so that's the that's how that works so I'm just approaching Cochrane right now it's a pretty cool little city on the river on the west side mountains I wonder if they finish that uh, road where the construction was We'll see very shortly.
it has been over a year this is still not done that's only in Canada it's freaking ridiculous how they pay those people money and here same thing as the overpass close to my house over the river the bridge over the river it's going on a third year to make a one freaking overpass uh, they milking the money those big corporations are milking the tax money like crazy it seems like they're working but uh, believe me this is this is a shit show so I'm through that construction and you wonder why do we pay so many so much taxes got two and a half kilometer to turn off on highway 40 now the clouds are building up over the mountains uh, let's hope it's not gonna rain I didn't bring any sweater this time normally I have my panniers with crap in it but today I figure I don't need it so just gonna take my chance what's the worst thing can happen you can get wet that's it and maybe cool <laughs>